the infamous E5 error on an aroma plus slow cooker. Today we're going to take this thing apart and find out what the E5 is all about. So uh, bear with me. This is just going to be a real quick video on how to repair it. First you unplug the slow cooker, of course. Next you're going to turn this on to the right side and where the water vapor catch is. You take this and pull this out. There is a screw right here on the side that you take apart. And as I take this apart, you're going to see that probably some things are going to fall out because I've already had this thing apart so I could show you what was going on. This piece comes out and inside here are two little tabs like this that are actually hinges and they go, these little pins go in the side here and they act as the hinge for the lid. So you can take those out and right here is the problem. This wire is broken. There's two tiny wires that go up from the base and the control unit of the slow cooker up into the top for some type of a sensor up there. And so this particular wire was flexing the, the lid back and forth so many times the thing finally broke. So the next big issue that we had to solve was how to get inside here to repair the wire because the wire is so short I can't get in there to skin the insulation off to solder it back together. So I had to take the lid off, took these two hinges, hinge pins out of the side here. I, I'm sorry, I can't put them in real quick because I've got this thing apart. But the one on this side and one on that side. Pull these out and then the lid just comes off. When you turn this over, it's going to look like this on the inside. So how do you get this apart? Is you go right around this edge right here. What I used was a straight screwdriver right around the edge. It's so difficult to see because it's so black. Right around the edge and pry this apart right here and the this thing will just pop apart let me put this back down and go back here and take this out oh well i was fooling around with it i snapped it back together so hold bear with me a second here i'll take it apart okay i've taken the lid apart and the steam plate whatever you want to call it where it catches the steam just comes off this plastic piece this plastic piece just comes off of the top and that's all it is just a piece of plastic this metal piece which is on here like this when the cover's not on you tilt that up a little bit like this you just snap that apart and go around the edge here and it's got little indentations here on the outside of it don't know how well you can see that in the camera but it's got little indentations right here along in these different places you just pry that out this thing pops off here is your sensor right in here and here's the broken wire right there and so what i'm going to do i've already taking the insulation off of this wire. I'm going to take the insulation off of that wire. I'm going to put these two back together and solder them together. Okay, I've got both of the wires insulation stripped off. Uh, it's back about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch. I'm going to twist these two wires together and then I'm going to solder them together. Be careful when you're doing this because these wires are really thin really fine wires so i'm going to twist this together and then i'm going to heat up my soldering iron and solder those two wires back together all right i've got the wires twisted together and i have my soldering iron heating up in a couple of minutes here we will be ready to go and solder this back together so 
see if that's hot enough. Nope, not yet. Okay, let's see if we're hot enough yet. Yep. Let's go over here. Heat that up. Get it nice and warm so you don't have a cold solder joint. Looks pretty good. Disclaimer, of course, if you don't know how to use these tools and you don't know how to work around electric circuits, you probably should have someone else do this or um, just go out and buy a new one. At any rate, so we've got our wires soldered. This is a really humid environment that's in here. This whole thing is uh, very humid and a lot of water. So I'm going to get some liquid tape and put it on this uh, so it seals it up. Okay, I couldn't find any electric tape, and so I'm going to improvise, and I'm going to use some uh, my wife's fingernail polish. Uh, I'm going to plug this thing in and see, uh, just real quick, if it's fixed. Turn it on. Let's try a slow cook. Awesome. All right, I coated that with some fingernail polish that my wife gave me, and that should be okay for now. And we will uh, put this thing back together, because um, I'm always in a rush, but uh, I'm in a rush today, and put it back together and see if this is going to work out. Then I'll come back in, open this thing up, and uh, put some liquid tape on it after I find it. So, here we go. Okay. Okay, just a quick update. Wanted to show you this after I got to put it back together. These wires, there's a little plastic guide that go that is right here that these wires snap into and they stay away from these hinge pins. And just like I told you before, these hinge pins, these just flip up and they pull out. I'm not going to pull it out because it's not, I had a little difficulty getting those things aligned, but they just push right in here and they are act as the hinge for the top then you put this cover plate back on with the screw that i was telling you about and we should be good to go at least for the short term